We're gonna teach you right now how to make timing on a single needle. Um, right now, what we do is we're gonna use like heavy duty, uh, as you see over here, it's a plastics heavy duty or denim heavy. So we put a diamond point needles and we're gonna retime the machine. So what you do is you remove your uh, feeders, as you see over here, one feeders, plate. You remove them out with two screws and two screws on the plates. And then you will see freely that uh, hook. Uh, that is the base of the hook. And this is the rotation hook. If you see, it's gonna rotate and the base will stay still right here. Now this way is the thread passing in every time. For heavy thread, you see I put a space. So you have space, so the loop will come out every time with the, the point of the hook is that. When he pick up the thread, he goes around and he loops and he come right up from here. So always make sure it's not wide open and it's holding the base. So sometimes this thing, because it gets stuck in a hooked piece of thread and he gets stuck and this jumping out. So you have to put it back because in all time, the base have to stay still. So now you see what I did is, you're gonna rotate the hook all the way down this way and you see when the hook start uh, the needle bar coming up the hook it's coming the point it grabbing the thread right here and make a cycle around and make the loop now you make sure that point of the hook it's on the center of the half a moon the, the needle have two sides one is half a moon and this one long line going across see over here and always you put the needle inside out, the half a moon inside and thread it from the outside in. All right? Now to time the hook, you have two screws. One, two. Sometimes there's one over here, it's three. So you release one and one you release a little bit and then you reach your hand and you cycle it down, see like that? And when the needle start coming up, the hook have to be exactly as you see over here at daylight and the needle don't have a play and not pushing it. So the point of the hook should not push the needle and just at daylight. And when you see it, it's like that, okay? You turn it slowly and tight, very tight to your screws. Remember, release one and the other one just release a little bit so you can play with the hook back and forth or left and right, all right? So that's one way to time your machine. That's a single needle timing. All right? And then all you do is put your feeders back, put your two screws back, then you put your plates and your foot, put your foot on and you're ready to test your machine. And I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Thank you very much.